Howdy. <laughs> you know, every time I make a video that's a... Every time I say, damn, this video took took a long time to make, I'm just dooming myself that to make sure that every video after that takes even longer. But that being said, yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> but the item of the day is another one of the pseudo-bosses. These are always some of my favorite videos to make, just because of the the sheer insanity that goes into that goes into these projects. Pardon me. Let me close the that tab real quick. So this one is I I I just go go as far as to call this a double feature, but it's probably going to be shorter than the previous ones because I'm just going to show off the new stuff, and the new item isn't too crazy. But let me start, because the item of the day, of course, is Salty Dog, and it's insane variant. But I'm going to start with regular Salty, because I had to make some changes. As you may or may not remember, since Salty Dog was one of the ones that didn't have audio, I'm eventually going to go back and remake this entire playlist, and just, like, make it... Ma remake every single one of them, like, give it a nice little bow, all of them will have will be, will have voicing, all of them will be at least an attempt at being well done. <laughs> Who knows if it'll actually end up working out well, but whatever. So the main issue with this boss before was that when it spawned the boat and the boat moved around, that was incredibly laggy. If just because of the number of entities and the fact that it was running commands on all of those entities every single frame and storing scoreboards for all of those entities every single frame. It's just too much. As much as I lo absolutely loved the moving ship, it was too much processing power. So, the new version, in the first phase, will spawn little rain clouds that'll run towards you. They're just baby zombies, but they're invisible. Look at them go. And I'm wearing full diamonds, so they're not going to do too much to me, but they, they do like a good, a solid heart of damage each without armor on. The fun part is that now he can repel up to his ship and spawn his goons. Something annoying to note, though, is that I was originally going to make it so that he repels up to, to the boat with a rope. As it turns out, isn't actually possible. I don't know why. I had everything set up correctly with the leads, but I think it's just that leads will automatically despawn if the entity that it's attached to, or the two entities that they're that is attached to, are too far apart. But now the boat, the boat will still kind of chill there. And to compromise, I also made the cannonball attack a bit more flamboyant, and even more flamboyant in Snoop's fight. Ooh. It helps that feather fall. <laughs> and there's that nice little flourish effect when the, the ship collapses as well. He drops the same stuff. Head cannon, cluster TNT, and the pirate's rapier. And now we move on to the fun one. This is the reason why I'm wearing diamond. This boss will whoop me if I'm not careful. So, it is Snoop. The saltiest dog. Oh, damn it, right? I can't hide my UI and still show off their name tag. It's Snoop, the saltiest dog. Right off the mat, the bat, you'll notice the rain clouds have been replaced by thunder clouds. And they do what you think they do. If they touch you, they will spawn a lightning bolt. They can, they can hit salty, though, so that can be very helpful. This phase is basically the same. It's just that they now have a little bit more armor. They have gold, gold armor instead of leather. The third phase is when things get crazy, though. 
We're gonna go into F5. He does a little. F that is one hell of a flourish. Uh oh. Yep, that was a, that's what I was afraid of. They hurt like hell if they actually touch you. Did I just splash myself with a poison potion? <laughs> I. We don't need to talk about that. Okay, anyway. This fight is hard, I'll admit. Just coordinating. Ooh. Oh, damn it. it. It helps have a ranged weapon, but again, I want to do this in pure melee. It's more fun. Plus, another change that I didn't mention is that he's just about immune to knockback in this, in this version. Also, I have no blast protection, but blast protection would make this fight way, way easier. But again, where's the fun in that? I'm dead. And also, his just just to point out, his armor also has blast protection, and that is why I pack the pirates the pirates rapier helps you get away if you need to. Oh God, I accidentally gave him slow fall. Oh. It's so menacing. Okay. It is done. And you can see the boat disappears in that same fashion as the other one. So when he drops, I don't actually know where this gunpowder came from. Somehow he killed a creeper. He drops some more insane membranes. He drops head cannon, cluster TNT, the pirate's rapier, and a new item, the seafloor shard. And it does what it says in the tin. It just... Pacifies guardians will told me held in your offhand. The one caveat though is that this does not work on um Rind. It doesn't work on Rind, it doesn't work on Rind, the second version of Rind. Which I think that's fair. <sighs> Excuse me. It'd be kind of cheap if you could just equip an item that would make the boss not attack you at all. But I'm pretty sure it does, if I have it set up correctly, it does mean that his little ring of angelfish won't attack you. And in order to use this item at all, you would have to sacrifice any other utility you have in your offhand. But regardless, while I'm talking about Rind, Rind is going to be next on the list, and I probably won't change his base form that much, nor will I change the base form of Umami. Because the only reason why I changed Salty Dog's base form is because of the lag problem. But now that that's dealt with, the last two are really, like, the only thing that's going to change about them is just making them just completely distinct entity entities with completely new behavior. And just to say, I, I mentioned this a while ago. I, after I'm done with these five, it feels like an adventure in and of itself just to finish these stupid bosses, but once I'm done with them, there are a few more bosses after that that I will be creating. I'm not sure if I'm going to be giving them insane variants. I think I'm just going to make their base forms at the level of an insane boss. And just to give a little teaser for what they're based on, there's already the five, the five tastes that are, have boss forms. These three, or perhaps these two, I don't know if I'm going to make the one based on the essence of coldness, will be based on the sensation of heat and spiciness, the sensation of coldness, like mint, and uh, the sensation of, the taste of iron. So those are gonna be my th the, the final three. 
And I'm going to, or perhaps the final two. I don't know if I'm making the mint boss yet, because all of my, like, sketchboarding, what the boss would do, sounded extremely boring. It's basically just, wow, he slows you down. Wow, he does things other bosses do already. But the other two are going to have fairly unique effects and movesets. Particularly the iron one, but I'll, I'm not gonna, I won't reveal too much about it until it's, I actually start working on it. With all that being said, I'm gonna stop, like, goofing around with this. I've kinda just been talking and bouncing around with the pirate's rapier. With all that said, that's about all I got. This, this took ages? Hopefully the next few won't take ages, but I know every time I say that, they end up taking ages anyway, so we'll have to see. Oh, that was clean, actually. Jump straight in. Thanks so much for watching, y'all. Have a good day.